Alright, so you've just written your first program. Good job. You have two classes in your program, one just printing Hello World and one that prints my second Java program, I Love Java, and Hello. So that's all great, but generally when you're programming, especially in game development, you're working with multiple people. So there is a website called github.com. Let me open it up github.com I'll put the link in the description and you can pretty much host your code and have other people download it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make an account and once you've done that you're gonna go to your home page and where it says your repositories you're gonna click new repository this would I'm gonna call this repository Java underscore lowercase java tut l lesson one and your description this is the source from the first lesson in java programming and let's not let's not have a readme we don't need a license or any of this so we can just click create repository alright that's great so you just made your repository so now what you need is to be able to download or to upload your your code so first you're going to git you're gonna download git so just google search git for windows or whatever git and you're gonna download it uh, it should not be downloading but anyways you're gonna install it and then when you go into where you started your where you were writing your code so for me it should be Java TUT and hello world in here you're gonna right click I'm gonna wait because my computer's slow okay you're gonna click on git bash alright so you're gonna type in git init which initializes git initialize so this it should create a folder called dot git alright so now you're gonna do remote add origin and then you're gonna put the URL to your repository so it would be this https colon slash slash github.com slash your username for me it's Jose Rivas nineteen ninety eight slash Java slash your repository name l one dot git alright and now what you're gonna do is you're going to git pull origin master to make sure that you have all the files that you needed Oh, what happened? Hmm. Cannot find remote ref of master. Okay, anyways. So, that's what you would do. So, now you're going to do git status. And this shows you all the things that are different. So, you're going to do git add all. This adds all the files to what you're about to commit. Now git commit kind of just sets all the folder all the files to what they are and is ready to upload them. You're going to do dash m. You have to always do that. Message and you're going to put an apostrophe and you're going to put first commit. All right. Now you're going to git push origin master and you're going to put in your username and your password and then it's going to write this so now you can come back here refresh the page and look at that all our code source here's our java files now if you were to edit this on here say you wanted to add another one 
So you're going to click edit. Say someone else wanted was also linked to this repository. You're going to system dot out dot print ln git github is cool and you're going to save it commit changes update hello one commit changes and there github is cool so what you're going to do is now that it's changed on here you're going to check what's different oh shoot okay so now you're going to git pull origin master all right so what just happened is it pulled it so when you push a file you're pushing the files on your computer to your repository and it's going to merge it's going to check what's different in the files and then just kind of blend them together in a way that it still works and then when you pull it does the exact same but instead of pushing it to the server and changing the servers or the repository it's going to pull the files from the repository to your computer so now that you've pulled origin master if you were to here we go it changed uh, you would have to do file refresh but mine did it automatically that's what we added and it would actually work and now to test to see if you can do this let's just make a random method public void method and this put whatever just make a blank for now and then save that go on github and add another one of these github is still cool commit changes it saves that so now you now it's different on both they both have different versions so what's gonna happen is you're gonna wanna pull what's new so get pull origin master you gotta wait for it hmm oh sorry you have to commit what you've done to it first so get status and now get add all get commit dash m blank method all right now you can do git pull origin master all right now if you go here press f5 look at that github is still cool it kind of put it in here even though it was different all right so now that we've got the differences we can just do git push origin master and put in your info I might have put in the wrong password I'm typing really fast there we go now if we go back to our file on github merge branch master of that whatever I put in our method, our blank method. So just remember use git responsibly and like whenever you make a change you're gonna want to commit it so that you can kinda keep track of what you've been doing and so that and also if you're working with other people this is also pretty good. Um, have a readme, I mean this is just the first lesson of the tutorial or whatever so you don't really I don't really need one but once you get into bigger projects I can show you for example this pong not that pong my pong there we go I have my code I have my readme I have a pong here's my source 
you can get all, see all of these. So um, yeah, just remember use git a lot. Always commit your changes. Remember those simple commands. There are more things you can do with it, but you don't really need it at a beginner level. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.